Hello all, Robert Lewis IR. This is the practitioner again, stepping into my role as the skeptic police. Once again, um, I'm making charges here. These are, um, again, the reason I'm making charges, is, or, you know, as opposed to, uh, and trying to support with evidence, but as opposed to um, doing a, a blanket judgment and finding you guilty, is that, um, technically speaking, if memory serves, a court system is supposed to be um, presenting your argument, then having the other side present their argument, and then have a judge, um, preferably an impartial third party, uh, judging uh, as to whether or not the uh, as to whether or not the charges made by the prosecution are correct or not, whether the person is in fact guilty or not. That being aside, um, I'm willing to step in as your third impartial party, and on the on the case of C.J. Sibley, I'm more than willing to, uh, like I said, uh, I've actually watched some of that guy's videos. Um, I'm more than willing to. Um, uh, agree with your charges of fraud, cowardice, and being a, well. Actually, I'll get to that being an asshole bit in a minute. Uh, but I am willing to admit to the. I'm willing to. Um, I'm willing to lock, uh, do the find find him guilty on the charges of fraud and uh, cowardice uh, right off the bat. So not to worry. You've got your impartial third party right there. Um, assholishness, that, and stupidity. Those apply to both of the uh, both um, Alan Zeppelin and C.J. Sibley. But I'll get to those in a second. First things first, I have to bring up a charge in relation to you. Um, it's not a major one. This is just a minor thing which I do think you need to correct. Or, well, again, my own personal opinion, this is why I come in as skeptic police, just to help, you know, help call when things could be improved upon. Um, like I said, great vid, uh, Court of Bob 2. Like I said, great, uh, great vid. Uh, the only thing I think that might be necessary is a little bit more of elaboration on your charges, particularly for people like Alan Zeppelin, um, rather than saying something uh, just like, oh, uh, anybody can go watch his vids and assume that they're stupid, uh, you know, and automatically see that he's stupid. Um, you're forgetting one small problem. What if an idiot, uh, just hypothetically, what if an idiot happens to stumble on your video, watch it, go watch the other person, but has no knowledge whatsoever of background of proper uh, arguing etiquette, science, um, or, or what else, what have you, or, uh, and decides not to do his homework. Luckily, in my case, I watched his videos and then went and did my homework and figured out that you were an atheist and not a Christian like he was, a te uh, like Alan Zeppelin was accusing you of being. So that actually, um, so that takes one of his arguments clean out the window. Uh, I think... At the very least, I think he should have done his homework before doing his video, uh, before doing the video on you. So, on relation to the charge of stupidity, that one may be considered. Uh, that one may be considered judged in uh, again that he may be guilty of stupidity. Now, um, in terms of C.J. Sibley's uh, case of stupidity, that's where there's a bit of a mix-up. Now, I, I, I may be remembering your video incorrectly, and I don't remember whether you actually made a charge of stupidity on uh, C.J. Sibley. If you didn't, my bad. Um, you know, this entire next 30 seconds is, you know, irrelevant. Pay no attention to that. Um, but one of the interesting things is that um, C.J. Sibley is a fraud, nonetheless. But one of the very few things he's done right in his fraudulent time was that he actually um, said that the spirits had told him, quote-unquote, that global warming was real. Now, that being aside, um, there, you know, regardless of whether he was doing it as a fraud, which he was, um, or not, there is evidence to suggest um, that global warming is, is anthropogenically exacerbated. Um, and, like I said, I could go into detail after detail after detail, but that's going to be my next vid. And, um, again, if you're wanting to deal, uh, again, if you're wanting to actually fully argue on global warming or what have you, wait until I've actually posted my next video and then make a video response to that so we can actually keep an actual honest debate going. That being aside, um, yeah. So, um, now, in relation to the charges for you, um, the charges for you pertain to uh, use of ad hominem attacks. You have called, um, you have called the, uh, you have called CJ Sibley and, uh, and, Alan Zeppelin, both assholes. I'd like to make something perfectly clear, and this, and I have the same problem with Penn and Teller, and I've already emailed them about this. Uh, <laughs> well, it's it's more of a minor problem, but I, I've still emailed them about it. The problem is, is that asshole is a relative term. Asshole can literally mean anything you want it to, and so you could quite literally say I'm being an asshole for so much as uh, for so much as questioning you on something like that. Or I could call you an asshole for uh, for even making a video uh, on somebody. I could call you an asshole for any one of a number of things. Uh, I mean, hell, um, you know, I mean, I could say that uh, that your uh, that 
oh, I don't know, that your very presence on YouTube is uh, is uh, is is being assholeish because you're uh, because you're getting in uh, in people's faces and stomping on their beliefs. Now I'm not going to say that because I agree with most of what you I agree with most of what you say, and I don't think you're an asshole for doing that. But you see, somebody could just as easily change a word like that and quite literally call you an asshole for any one of a number of things. Therefore, proclaiming somebody guilty for being an asshole, uh, for uh, supporting their viewpoint, no matter how stupid it happens to be, is... <sighs> At the very least, it's an ad hominem attack. Uh, well, let me, let me make this specific. In the way you phrase this an ad hominem attack, because of the fact that you haven't happened to give any explanation as to why he's being an asshole for giving, you know, for giving two to three vids, uh, he could be just giving an honest response to you. Somebody could construe that if they haven't watched his videos. Now, that being aside, um, in terms of idiot, in terms of stupidity, um, this is the other thing. Uh, again, ta uh, again, uh, what uh, I now also have to give you the charge of horse laugh um, because of the fact that what you said. Uh, again, note that I'm not saying it's based on the f whether it's true, whether your statements are true or not. I'm saying based on the way you have phrased your argument, your phrased your arguments. The way um, that you have phrased your argument of, oh, anybody can view uh, Alan Zeppelin's videos and assume that he's stupid or, or figure out that he's stupid, um, again, paraphrased, uh, you have not made an explanation as to why they are stupid or even given a rough idea you know, for people to know what to watch for in his arguments. So people who are not trained in critical thinking could easily go in there and lap up what he's saying, therefore, and, and therefore assume that you're doing a, that, you're just ba that you are just basically uh, uh, well, firstly, poisoning the well, you know, if, they've, if they're watching your video before theirs, and secondly, just horse laughing his arguments because you haven't actually ever really said anything countering his arguments, even though they actually are somewhat stupid. And um, I will actually make a video response to him uh, explaining that, so I'll basically cover your rear end for you. But please do me, a, please do us, uh, remainder of us uh, agnostic slash atheistic skeptics a favor, and next time when you're making a Court of Bob video, uh, please do try to make it just a tad longer with a little bit of explanation as to um, why stuff is going wrong. Now, I'm presuming with your Peter Popoff video, you probably actually have done that explanation for him, so that's not a problem. Anyway, I've already said my piece. That's all I have. Like I said, I've said my piece. Um, take my video for what you will. Um, hopefully, it's been some constructive criticism. Other than that, great video. Good for uh, way to go for taking down a fraud and an idiot. And, um, well... Uh, like I said, thanks a bunch. Peace.